speaking of the history of France, here is the history of France, uh, basically, by histographia. 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 Why did I butcher that so bad? So this is the France that we all know, obviously, in 2023, but then there were the Gauls during the BC time, 600 BC. The Romans were going to colonize all that or conquer them. I don't know. If, is that colonized? There's also the Celtic tribes over modern-day France. Everything goes wild. We have 50 AD as in the Roman Empire. In 481, we have the Kingdom of the Franks. They were very large there. Uh, there is... The Viking invasion of Normandy, yes. The Vikings were invading everyone around this time, 9-11. Uh, 1100, officially the first kingdom of France after Charlemagne's empire gets kind of split up. We get like West Francia, your soul, going wild. Hundred Years' War against England, that pretty much kept them safe because for a second there, they were almost forced into a personal union. First colonial empire of France in 1534. This is before they would sell things like Louisiana. Okay, see, there's Louisiana. They also had Quebec. Uh, they didn't lose Quebec just yet. There's 1789, the French Revolution, so Napoleon's gonna rise out of that. A lot of people are gonna lose their heads over that. Uh, the Napoleonic Wars, when they basically fought everyone, they and also controlled almost all of Europe. Then there's the French Empire. There it is right there. They controlled a lot of uh, continental Europe. They didn't have the boats, though. The Hundred Days War, when they finally got rid of them. Napoleon exiled, obviously. And then here's the Second Colonial Empire, when they got a large chunk of Africa, which we just kind of talked about, also Madagascar. They're not going to show um, Southeast Asia, but they had a big chunk of Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia. And then they Vichy France, when they got taken over by the No-No Germans, the tormenting breath. You could definitely say that. The Algerian War. Algeria got their independence. France has obviously had a long history. There's a lot to cover there. Bro just dropped the biggest France edit and thought we wouldn't notice. Viva la France. Awesome video. Please go subscribe. All the countries all the that Russia invaded. Russia or Soviet this is by Union. Global Addict David. Please go subscribe. Has Such a genius invaded. video Starting idea. This could evil. absolutely be a trend. Just showing all the countries in which other countries have invaded. Man, I don't think you could do it in a minute for the British. It might be kind of difficult to do this all within 59 seconds for Russia too. Okay, so here are all the countries. Border. So in Asia, we include Japan, Korea, Korea oh, Japan, China, yes. and Mongolia. Moving to Central yes, technically, Asia, obviously, they're going the all the way down. Countries. Together with Wasn't there, Iran, I was going to say Iran, Georgia, Armenia, course, and rivalry with Ottomans, and the Ottomans. finally, to the home continent of Europe, where Russia has invaded. They got pretty deep in there. Every country, starting with really? the entire Eastern Well, yeah, because, I mean, a lot of that, a lot of this is just Soviet borders. If you know the Soviet border layouts, I mean, obviously, they invaded and attacked that. Together with Sweden Finland. and Finland. Sweden, the Great Northern War. Are we including, I mean, sometimes, some, it gets kind of complicated when you use the word attack. Are we just talking about wars in general? I think Norway, I don't the know only bordering country that wasn't actually invaded Oh, wow. Further, well, Russia it's in really, really difficult to fight up there near the North Pole. I can see why. Invaded Poland, Czechia, Poland, Slovakia, Germany, Hungary, obviously, yes. Austria, Germany, Have they fought France. Italy, technically? Lastly, oh, yeah. I guess Alaska, they haven't. As it was once occupied by Russia as yes. well. And that's it for the mother country that of Russia. That is Russia. crazy. And then to show the whole map at the end, wow. I don't know if you could technically say they invaded Hawaii, but there were definitely Russian colonizers in Hawaii at one point. They're kind of wars against the British. I mean, it does get complicated. Invasion versus, like, wars. They definitely had wars with the British. Which continent do you live in? Russia. We really like that idea. There's a lot to be done with that trend. School class, School class tier, tier list. Math class, C tier. Now, math Dude, class... Dude, no. I'm doing D. I'm doing D. It used to be fun back in, like, elementary school when it was oh. simpler, and I could actually understand okay. it. But I guess right so. when high school started yeah, time and they added fun. the mix, that's when it all went downhill. Like, yeah. whoever added letters... Okay, I can, I can understand putting it above the last tier only because of the elementary school days when it was really simple. The math, I have beef with them, and we've been to settle with yeah. the ring. Like, have you seen I, or done calculus? It's actual no, hell. I've actually never done... I've always stayed away from that class. I'm not gonna do that. English class, D tier. Dude, English Ooh. class actually sucks ass. Like, all you do in that <laughs> class is listen to your teacher yap about some short stories, poems, and Shakespeare. Yeah, and I feel like the English teachers, too, tend to be... Bro, writing essays yeah, actually Yeah, and then suck, just writing essays, time, reading some books. Boring -ass book to write yeah. about that was written in the 1900s. I mean... Like, screw that. Wait, the 1900s? I like that. But that's looking like Shakespeare. It, okay. <laughs> but yeah, I never read any books in high school. I hate to admit that. I, I feel... I shouldn't be admitting that, to be honest. I was just reading spark notes. I always lied. Like, screw that. Let me write my essay on Diary of Wimpy Kid instead. Gym class, <laughs> S tier. I now, love Now, come gym. on. We all know of gym course. class is the most goaded class. However, there's going to be certainly people that put that as their lowest ranking. But I liked gym class. Like, 
Like, it might as well be a free period because you get to play yeah. sports with your friends and work it out. It is pretty Like, fun. it's just an overall W for your mental health and physical health. True, Art class true. A tier. Now, art class Art's is fun. a fun class. Like, you get to express your creativity through painting, drawing, sculpting, which is great. And the class yes. is usually very chill, which sets a nice vibe while you get creative. Teachers are always Unless nice. Unless you have a teacher who loses your work, then oh. it's not chill. And well, yeah. that's the... Oh, I wanted more. Where does history go? I love history now, but you know, if I look back in my school days, I don't know if I technically loved it. It really depended on the teacher, to be honest. I feel like I just put it average because it really all did depend on who was teaching the class. The video is by Lone E. Please go subscribe. We have a map of the U.S. Of the United States in 1864. Wow, from. It a and it's a hand-colored map. Of American history and has some pretty fascinating stuff on it. So, so 1864, this First is just after is the Civil now War. Oklahoma was still called the Indian Territory. Yes. Yes. A place where indigenous groups from around the United States of natives were, were sent put to there after being forcibly deported from yes. their homelands. Great this way to put it. North and South Dakota was at the time the really Rumbar Dakota territory. If we look in oh, the middle man. of California. That's a thick Dakota. Kind of wish they would just do that again. That looked like such a beast of a state. And we will see something labeled Tulare Lake. This used to be one of the largest lakes in the yeah, United States, and but got, no longer exists that today got dried due to up. being drained from our unsustainable agricultural practices. Yes. Um, also, remember the whole like huge lake in California? That was a thing not that long ago. Well, not that long ago. It's subjectively, California, not that uh, long no ago. No salt and sea yet. More remote no salt parts of the sea. country are still labeled with the indigenous groups that live there. Wow. The Crow, the Cheyenne, That's amazing. the Paiute, and the Blackfeet. Canada has the huge label of British possession <laughs> because they were still a British manifest destiny colony. Herself, the Union Pacific Railroad oh, wow. running all the way. Look at the Nebraska borders. Those look different. Oh man, that is such an awesome map. Just breaking down old maps like that is such a great idea. The video is by Minimum Minute Man. Please go subscribe. This man saved the earth from okay. World War Three. I didn't know. There's always two dudes that we're talking about when it comes to Russians that saved the earth. Uh, Stanislav Petrov is one of them, but we're talking about the other one. Insane. So this is so 1960s. 1962. Exactly oh, 1960s. The US was in a war with Russia, but this is during the Cuban Missile Crisis. Fighting. See, both sides were just scaring the other with their it got nuclear weapons. Very arsenal, intense. And both had enough nuclear weapons to destroy the world, which is why yes. this Russian submarine was hiding off the coast of Cuba with their nuclear torpedo. Mm -hmm. Sir, that Russian submarine this is the one is dude that said no. Cuba with torpedo. Rrr, fire a non lethal depth charge. That'll oh force him to surface. Yeah, and this is going to confuse the crap out of him. Congrats. <laughs> We were under attack. U.S. and Mother Russia. Oh, good. They have Russian accents too. Time to fire our nuclear torpedo. Are we ready? In order to launch the nuke, three Russian dudes aboard had to approve. Yes. The captain, two of them, little yes. officer, yes. and the, but the one said no. Vasily. no. Crazy. This might be a warning charge. He was right. They didn't fire. World safe. Woo. We got lucky because we probably all wouldn't be here. No. Meanwhile, World War Three. Oh, okay. I guess not then. Because I don't think it just would randomly stop after that. I feel like obviously the Americans would definitely respond and then just chaos. Too late. I don't, I, yeah. It's no coming back from that. It is by Henry Belcaster. Please go subscribe. Worst, Worst ads, ads in history. In history. By extra credits. You ever wonder why Vlad the Impaler was so impalering? Well, it oh might have been partially due to his father, his, his Vlad Dracul, Dracul. That's always what it comes down to. The Dragon, which usually is not a nickname Basically, associated with a high Dracula. aptitude for parenting. Vlad Dracul was the Prince of Wallachia, a state sandwiched between the Ottoman Empire and the Christian oh states of Europe, both of whom he allied with often back and forth. So to ensure <laughs> Vlad Dracul's... Well, you gotta do what you gotta do when your nation is that small, playing both sides, so he always comes out on top. So to ensure Vlad Dracul's loyalty, he left his two sons, including future Impaler uh -oh. Vlad, at the Ottoman court as hostages, where oh. they were educated educated in more ways than one. For example, so, seeing two other fellow captives get their eyes pulled out with red hot irons. Uh, but that is not all. Even though he knew it would mean his So he had obviously some mental scarring that happened. ...be executed. Vlad Dracul betrayed the Ottoman Sultan that had his kids. Plus, when the Sultan showed mercy and returned his children home, he was more shocked than joyful that they were still alive. Oh, wow, and then so he didn't even want them. That, he still had the gall to insist that his son Vlad avenge him when he later died in a coup. Talk about entitlement of draconian proportions. Okay. Speaking of which, hit that subscribe button for more yeah his uh his childhood was not the greatest sounds like a pretty obvious thing from a guy called vlad the impaler <laughs> i had some weird things going on in his head talk about daddy issues extra credits please go subscribe what would the short is by the, the royal pair died tomorrow well before anything the vice president would be sworn into office the yes. last time this happened was in 1963 after JFK. when lyndon b johnson stepped up after jfk was 200 pumped then yeah. the news <laughs> that's one way to put it reach the public and it would most likely be the number one story around the world of also, course starting now flags that would be absolutely insane 
plane. Would fly at half staff for 30 days in respect. Federal okay, yeah. Would Wait, really? That was so oddly specific. It's like, oh, that maybe that it's like written down somewhere. Close for a day of mourning, and there's no run paper that says if schools have to close. Aww. For example, when JFK died, some schools did close for a day. I could see but that. Others just participated in a moment of silence. Just another I example bet you they of probably... why life isn't fair. There's also a stupid ass probably tradition would. called the presidential funeral train. It's a train that carries what? the reboot card of the president and allows thousands of Americans to pay the respect to the president. What? And after all that, the funeral will take place and will be streamed exclusively on Disney Plus. I mean, okay, I'm thinking some of these are predictions. I, would they still do the train thing? What if they would do a plane thing at, now that's 2023? Back in 1963, I could see why they did that. Yeah, that would be absolute insanity, but we need to be prepared. The video is by Royal Pair. Please go subscribe. We're One versus ten million dollar bunker. That's Mr. Earth. So basically, <laughs> Mr. Beast. <laughs> And nice we have bunker, a China. This was all a hundred dollars. China built a hundred. Uh, oh. oh, Maybe no. it's not that great. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's gonna blow up that but bunker. India, this ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars But there's also a lot of people wow. in this. Yeah. What? Which okay. makes oh is the bunker just Strong, people? Right? It's well, a body shield. At least I'm not, oh, I'm not, oh. You spent it all not bad. Vodka? Yeah. Uh, that's oh, that's very right. nice, Russia. I I agree, but <laughs> okay, the bombs are definitely yeah, not. Drinks, they're going right? to do well Finally, in that. How about protected, America? Ten million. Good. America? <laughs> Pro protection. Shield? America with an AK? Oh, no. What kind of American is this? <laughs> what? He's having PTSD? Of what? Oh, no. He's having PTSD. Oh, oh, of the Cold War. I see. He's, he's freaking out. And yeah, you don't want to be in a bunker with a guy that's freaking out. That's how bad things happen. Another banger by Mr. Spherical. Hey Here's guys, another one. I giving away six Africa. Africa. Six and countries. The last one to leave their podium gets to keep it. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm assuming this one's definitely going to be like a colonization of Africa reference. Especially considering these countries. We've got Portugal, France, Germany, Italy, Spain, and of course the UK. Don't forget about Belgium. Yeah. Do not bring them to Africa. I, to I wonder if they're going to make a reference to this. Also, this, this is like a middle Mr. Cool Beast challenge, but with history. Right now. These are such great... So liberté, égalité, this is such great, a genius idea. Everyone. And I mean uh, everyone. France now, is definitely... Trouble. What did you say, France? Oh, I guess they're just trying to colonize all of Africa. I think Britain got the most, but France was second. Now we do okay, a now trouble. we do what? I mean, no! 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 Certain no people are out. Empty Here's Spain didn't heaven. have much. We still have half of you? Time Germany's already got... Oh, I love that map. So, yeah, this is accurate. These are spots that these nations controlled. Obviously, Spain had Equatorial Guinea and Morocco. There's Italy with Libya. Germany would have had to give these up to Portugal. We I love that Belgium Time is not included. Things up. Africa is lava. Oh, uh oh Whoa. Wait, I thought Germany was kicked out. Okay. Portugal is now gone. That includes all their territory. These are the next places to leave Africa completely. I'm sure this is probably like accurate in terms of the years. Oh, that was an asteroid. Who's that? Is that okay? France is gone. Technically, the UK was the last well, to leave Africa, won, right? but in a way they didn't. Yeah, in a way, you kind of didn't want to be the last to leave Africa. It was going to be pretty chaotic. Technically, the French really didn't leave Africa. At least, I guess all those countries didn't really leave Africa. When considering African military bases held by foreign powers, there's still a large amount of de facto leaders of countries here. Meanwhile, Napoleon invades Egypt. Okay, so here they are fighting the Ottomans. Uh... Slash, I mean, there are Egyptians in there as well. Is this going to be a reference to the movie? Are we going to talk about Napoleon shooting the pyramid with a cannon? Fire! Okay, that's Napoleon with cannons. They do have cannons. So maybe we are going to make a reference to that. Oh, oh, that's awesome to see the battle formations like that. Pushing them into the river. Oh. What? That was fast, but pretty epic. Now we need a part two. Again, that was all by Mr. Spherical. Please go subscribe. My patrons on Patreon, thank you. Carino is best girl. Sebi, if you hear this, I love Jack you. Jack Draven's annoying friend. I can't sleep without Drew's Drew voice. Drew on your dad, back with the milk. Look outside. Amateur archaeology. A fat normal. Carmel S. Frederick Tiddle. Inquisitor Zero. Joe Mexican. John Denver. Carino is best girl. Lemons Lines. Luxembourg Lover. Orton 516. Robert Rye e. the Pie. The Great Ralphie. Insaney Boy.